Hello and welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is Friday, June 9th, 2017, and we are so excited to have Andrea Von Campen in the studio with us today. Andrea, take it away.
you're watching Audio Tree Live with Andrew Von Campen. So beautiful, guys. Thank so you. So beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, we're happy to be here. Yeah, and welcome back to Chicago. I know mm-hmm. you've been here before, but it's your first time performing. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. How? When did you come here before? Um, I have some family that lives here, so oh, cool. we come here pretty often. In the Where summers. in like the suburbs or? Uh, right in Chicago. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, like in the Loop or? You know, I'd have to ask them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not super familiar yeah. with the area. Who's so. to say, really? Right. <laughs> yeah, well, awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, you guys are on tour right now, right? Mm-hmm. And you have a few days left? Yeah, we have a few days left. We have tonight, and then tomorrow we're playing a So Far show somewhere in Chicago. Yeah, don't tell. I cannot tell you. Yeah. I also don't know, so <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't matter if I tried. Uh, and then our last night's in Des Moines. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so have you guys been playing together for a while? Um, we've played a few shows before we went on this tour together, so. Yeah, we met, like, two years ago and just recently started playing together a bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. How'd you guys meet? We played a gig for, I think, a philanthropy event, Mm -hmm. and we just happened to be performing together. One of our friends, our mutual friends, asked us to play, and it was an all-women gig. It was really cool, yeah. Yeah. Was it in, uh, you guys are from Nebraska. Are both of you from Nebraska? I'm, I'm from Kansas like, City. You're from Kansas yeah. City, Missouri, mm-hmm. or Kansas? Kansas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you have like <laughs> an? Do you have like um like, you make sure that people know you're from the Kansas side, not the Missouri people side. People always ask me that, and for some reason, it's a big deal to everyone else. But I'm just like, mm, it's okay. we we like make sure there's rivalry. Like, where it's like, it looks actually, really no. similar. Yeah. I've never seen like a real difference. Yeah. In the land. Of I can't these. imagine that there would be a huge difference <laughs> once you cross the state border. Yeah, no. it's pretty much. The same. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I know that you you went to UNL, University yeah. of Nebraska Lincoln. I did, yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it because our motion graphics designer is from. It, she is from Omaha, and she has told me a lot about it. And she she actually transferred, but she liked it. Did yeah. you like it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So yeah. you graduated recently, right? In May. In May. Woo. How are you feeling? So good. Really? You're like, yes. bye. It was, it's really nice to be graduated and done and have yeah. a degree. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Andrea, you graduated last year? I did. Last May. Yeah. From Concordia, Concordia. University. And mm-hmm. that's in Nebraska as well? Yes. It's just right side of, outside of Lincoln. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, how are you feeling in like your, this is, you're entering your sophomore year of post-grad. Right. Yeah. How was the Feeling past year? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. Good. Last yeah. year was uh, full of doing a bunch of different jobs. So. <laughs> like what? Um, well, I teach a teacher school, and then I also teach private lessons, cool. and then gigging and writing and that's all awesome. that stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you teach like uh, guitar? Yeah, I teach guitar and voice. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Do you teach like little kids or yes, like little kids and big kids and, and adults? And so, adults, <laughs> yeah, I teach them all. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, I do kind of want to talk about songwriting a little bit because yeah. I really love the art and the beauty of songwriting. And um, so, how did you start writing, and when did you start writing? Yeah, I just started writing in college. I knew mm-hmm. I wanted to play out, but I knew I needed material. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can play a bunch of covers, or I can force myself to write these songs and play them. Uh, So I started probably my freshman or sophomore year of college. Um, And yeah, I've just been doing it ever since. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, So do you ever listen to like the songs you wrote at the beginning, like when you were just starting out? Well, it's weird. The first song I ever wrote was Train Song. So I listen what? to it a lot. <laughs> and that's like, I mean, I play it all like, the time. And, like, it the most... is. So it's all downhill from here. <laughs> it's not all downhill from here. That's just amazing. Because no. like all the songs that I have written that I listen to, like when I like, because I, I started when I was like young, and so I listen to the songs that I wrote, and I just, I just cringe <laughs> and just cry. It's like, cause it's like, it's like the most like melodramatic stuff. But you yeah. lucked out. You're, yeah. one of the, you're one of the lucky few. I feel like I was scared enough, so I kind of passed the phase of writing when I was younger because I was so petrified that someone would, you know, come across a journal and read it. And be like, what is this crap? So I think that actually happened to me. My sister <laughs> saw it, and she was like, Jessica, what is this? <laughs> you have to stop. Yeah. I was like, hey, I'm just expressing my feelings. Oh, that's so funny. Just let me live. That's my outlet. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you have any specific, like, influences that you love or Yeah, well, from? with writing, I try to read a lot and mm-hmm. base off of those um, like characters that I read and stuff awesome. I was just um, talking with another artist who told me I should start trying to like cross pollinate and look at a piece of art and write a piece of music based on that instead of just like listening to a record and saying okay I'm gonna make a record like yeah. blah 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 um, 
kind of cross pollinate. So read a book. That's write really about interesting. It, walk, look at a painting. So yeah, that's been that's been a fun challenge. Yeah, because I, I I do suppose that if you're listening to something you, and you want to sort of emulate that, you'll you'll get too close to those songs that you've been yeah, listening to. Yeah, it's just so not if you're, original. You know? Yeah, so if you're reading a book or if you're looking at a painting, it's more likely to sort of um, incite your own feelings and your own thoughts yeah. and the melodies and stuff. So you say you read a lot? Yeah. What's What have you been reading lately? Um, <clears throat> well, I was reading Harry Potter in the car. Um, oh my God, what <laughs> But book? it does Which expand one? farther than that. Uh, four. So four. just got through the Yule Ball. Um, okay, good. But uh, It's not I, your first time reading it, right? No, yeah. I think it's I think, maybe my third or fourth. Yeah, yeah, she's read them at least three or yeah. four or maybe yeah, five times. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, but I haven't written a song yet about that. Um, you know, I feel like that would be hard at this point. <laughs> Like be Unless really it was obvious. like really like couched in symbolism or right. something. Yeah, that's my new challenge. Um, no, I read all sorts of things. I like the classics, mm-hmm. um, lots of Shakespeare and stuff, but then nice. also more modern books as well. So nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you have like a specific favorite? Oh man, that is such like, a hard question. Like uh, one of your favorites. I know that's okay. really hard. Yeah, um, I would say one of my favorite books is The Kite Runner. Oh, really? I've never mm-hmm. read that. Oh, it's a great And I was book. just, I was like, I was looking at A Thousand Splendid Suns. Oh, that's a really good one, Did you read that one, too? too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was so good. I was like, and I feel like I've, like, missed the boat, because everyone's read it, and I was like, I haven't yet. It's not too late. I know. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's I'll no, like... i my copy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, so, I heard mm-hmm. that you're engaged. I am, yes. Have you been planning the wedding? Yes, it's in a month. So it's in a month. Yes, so I have a oh my god a lot of work to still do. Really? <laughs> no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Is it'll it happen. Is it going to be in Nebraska? Yes. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Is it mm-hmm. going to be small, big, medium sized? Um, medium. We'll yeah. see. We'll see if people show up. I don't know. <laughs> that would be so bad if someone just was like, "I'll go," and then they stood you up on your wedding I day. I think people do that though. I hope not. <laughs> That's really rude. <laughs> and you said he usually comes out on tour with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but your dad's here. My dad is here today. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. How is it traveling with your dad? It's great. Addie, how has it been? Yeah. That's so great. He has so many good stories. Just the three pals yeah, on the road. Yeah, he has a lot of stories, so. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine uh, touring with my dad. My dad would, like, want to talk about, like, he'd be like, have you seen what Trump did today? <laughs> no, it's very different than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. All right, well, if you want to roll into the next Yeah, few, sure. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. us. <clears throat> Oh, 
put my faith in things that never stay the same but they
never thought this would be me One plus one and now there's three of you and me Me and you and she and all our friends went out tonight But I see it in cause money's too tight You and me, me and you And if you're feeling kinda scared Just remember why Two stupid kids with the hearts on fire we lost control as the flames got higher Oh, we'll carry away with the burning desire Two super kids with the hearts on fire Oh Stupid kids with thoughts on fire We lost control as the flames got higher Oh, we'll carry away with a burning desire Two stupid kids with thoughts on fire You've been watching Andrea Von Camper on Audio Tree Live. And before we go into that last one, you guys can tune up, take a drink of water, whatever you want. Uh, I just want to let everyone know that you can hear her EP, Desdemona, wherever uh, music is available. And if you're in Chicago, you can go see her at Uncommon Ground tonight. Uh, yeah, go into the last one whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.
Audio Tree Live with Andrea Von Campen, and that was beautiful. I still can't believe that was the first song you ever wrote. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. And your <laughs> audience, you can support Andrea by downloading this session when it comes out in a few weeks. And I want to thank Andrea for being here, and the sound engineers, and the camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful, and audience, for you for watching. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.